Well, actually, I'm not in a hacker's basement right now doing some sort of attack on the NSA, but um, we're actually at Samsung's offices and we wanted to take a look at their new uh, high-end monitor. So this is kind of geared towards gamers, but I'd say it's more of a hybrid screen. It's called the Odyssey Arc and it is a huge screen, but it also doubles as a productivity screen and it can even be your television. So maybe James, maybe turn the lights up now so we can actually get down to business and really explore whether or not this is the type of screen that's right for your home. Okay, so let's talk about specifications. The Samsung Arc is a curved 55 inch display. It's 4K resolution and it uses Samsung's mini LED technology. So this is a Neo QLED panel, meaning it uses quantum dot technology, which gives you really bright colors. It's a 2000 nit peak brightness screen, which is quite high and it really kind of, you can really feel the, the, the brightness coming off of it. And that means it can support HDR or high dynamic range. And the mode it supports is HDR 10, which is great for movie watching. Now the curve is called, um, it's rated at 1000 R. So that has to do with sort of the amount of curve, which is quite curved for a screen this size. And also it has a matte finish on it. Now the matte finish also comes on Samsung's The Frame TV and it's designed to really dull reflections. So because it's got such a curve, you should be able to use this in a brightly lit room and not worry too much about reflections. So that also really helps it in multiple environments. So I'm actually really excited about the sound in this monitor because usually screens don't have the best speakers. So this actually has four speakers in the corner, so four in total, and then it has two subwoofers in the middle. So it supports Dolby Atmos as well, um, and there's really not many monitors that do this. So it's a 2.2.2 configuration. And what it does is it creates what Samsung calls a sound dome. So it really uh, envelops you in the sound dome um, when you're watching uh, movies or playing games or maybe listening to some music as well. So you're getting a more feature-rich speaker experience on this screen than you would on a lot of others. And that means too that you don't have to add external speakers and clutter up your desktop either. Right, now this TV has a superpower, I'd say. And it gives you the ability to rotate the screen on its base a full 90 degrees. And that puts it into what's called cockpit mode. And it literally towers over you. So you have this 55 inch screen towering over you. And what that happens is um, after that, you can configure um, three separate screen areas. Now there are about 32 inches in diagonal. So it's almost like three 32 inch monitors stacked one on top of the other. And you can have whatever types of content you want you know, within limits um, in these little other screens and you can move them up and down to be able to um, watch what you want in center or below or even have it up above towering above you. Right, so we've rotated it now and it's so big it doesn't even fit into the frame. So James, maybe pan up so we can see the top of this thing because it really does tower up there. Yeah, there we go, it's, it's up there. But the good thing too is, is that um, you can adjust the tilt. So if I want to move it closer to me, I can push down on the base like this. And I can also raise it and lower it if I want to, to adjust the height. And we can uh, use the Samsung controller that comes in the box. So this is the Samsung Arc controller. And you've got this really nice tactile dial, dial here that allows you to move the content that you want into the this one of the three spaces that are stacked up um, and you can then make that the active window uh, and so for example we click into YouTube or up at the top we've got some audio coming through but if I want to move that down which is a bit out of frame you can see that I'm moving it now down towards the bottom one and I'll mute that and that's kind of how you move them around the good thing too about this controller is that it is solar charged here and uh, if you don't want to use solar you can also just use the USB-C charger. Um, you also get in the box you get a Samsung remote control for controlling the TV functions but I'll talk more about that later.
Okay, so when it comes to this being a gaming monitor, the idea here is that you're buying the best of the best. Um, so the specs should reflect that. Um, so what we have here is a 165 hertz screen, which is pretty amazing for really fluid gameplay. It's also got a variable refresh rate, uh, so it supports uh, FreeSync. Um, in terms of HDMI, it's HDMI 2.1. Now there are four of those ports. Um, with the screen itself, for the uh, response time, it's a one millisecond screen, which is really fast for a 55 inch display as well. Um, plus there's all kinds of special gaming modes and features that Samsung adds in. But first I think I'm gonna switch back to gaming uh, configuration. Right now I'm in cockpit mode. I've got my main game screen here. Above that I've got a bit of YouTube doing a bit of research on gaming. Up top, which you can't see at the moment, um, I'm just watching some more uh, video uh, from one of Samsung's digital channels. But say, for example, you wanted to put up a web browser and, and have some walkthrough information there, or maybe look at Twitch. Those are all options that you can, fig can configure and move up and down. <laughs> So we've moved back to the normal configuration so you can have your game running full screen. Uh, there's a great feature here, which is Samsung's uh, game bar. You can jump into that to make all kinds of settings. You just use the uh, control wheel to get in here. And from here, you get an overlay that gives you things like your uh, frame rates, uh, whether your pixel response time is standard or high. You can adjust things like uh, your screen ratio, uh, tells you whether high dynamic range is on. So there's all kinds of things here, your VRR settings. Um, also, you can jump into Eclipse lighting here, and this is where you can actually change the color of the lights on the back of the screen. You notice that in the back of the panel there's some really cool RGB lights, and you can customize the colors and the effects there. So Game Bar is just a handy way of seeing your gaming settings while you're playing your game. So also on the Game Bar, you can go into this really cool 32 by 9 screen ratio if you have a game that supports that. Um, and instead of having black bars up at the top or bottom, so I'm going to select in here and go to 32 to 9, um, instead of having black or bars at the top or the bottom, you can actually use this mini-map feature where you can select the mini-map in your game and have that appear above your actual gaming area. So it's not configured properly for Far Cry, but you can actually select a bit of that screen and have it up into the black area. Maybe sometimes a huge 55 inch curved screen might be a little bit too much for some games. So there's a mode here that we think is really cool and it's called uh, Flex Move Screen. And what it allows you to do is basically just reduce the size and position of the screen. So for example, I'm actually making this one smaller and I'm gonna bring it down, down to the bottom. And there you go. So now this is the actual screen. And the rest of the space, you can either have an effect or a pattern put around there or just black. Um, so this is really great. Um, but the only thing is that you can't actually see the resolution that you've just adjusted it to, which does make it a little bit tricky to match your PC gaming resolution to this window. But otherwise, I think this is a really clever feature. In terms of the game types, I think the, the Odyssey Arc is great for open world games or first person shooters, driving games. Um, but um, if you move it to the cockpit configuration, um, when everything's stacked up on top, I think your choices are a little bit more limited. I think flight sims could be great, um, provided that you're allowed to sort of stack your controls on top of the main flight window. Um, so I think it really depends on what the compatibility is between the PC and this monitor and the game that you're playing to really make mo the most of, I guess, the cockpit mode. Uh, but otherwise, uh, you know, in this orientation, it supports more gaming types. <laughs> And with a press of a button, your gaming monitor turns into a fully featured smart TV. Well, almost fully featured. It doesn't actually have a built-in TV tuner, but hey, who watches free to air anyway these days? Um, but what you do have is Samsung's familiar smart hub interface, where you can select all of your types of content uh, from uh, you know, streaming apps, to, uh, yeah, to uh, Samsung's own sort of uh, channels as well. Uh, you'll also notice too that uh, we've got the uh, Xbox um, cloud-based gaming interface here, so you can pretty much play Xbox games without having an Xbox, so you can access that too. Uh, you control it all with the, the supplied remote control that we mentioned earlier. And on the outside of the monitor, it has Samsung's One Connect box. So that box is for connecting all of your peripherals. So it could be uh, an Apple TV or a Blu-ray player or you know an older set-top box. 
you plug that all in there and then a single cable runs into the back of the monitor. Um, that's really important here because when the monitor rotates, you can't have all cables plugged into the back of the actual monitor panel or else that would create a huge mess. Um, so as a TV, the One Connect box is good to have. But if you think about it in a gaming context, it might not make as much sense because you want the One Connect box near you to plug in your laptop. Whereas with a TV, you can put the One Connect box somewhere else. It's got quite a long cable and you can kind of get it away from the actual screen. So kind of the use case for that is a little different in this case. So when you're not gaming or watching TV, you can also use this as a, uh, a productivity monitor. Um, so what we love about it is that it's it's obviously a very big screen, so you have a huge amount of space to work with. Lots of room for multiple windows, so we've got this connected to a laptop. Um, so yeah, you can pretty much get lots of work done on the big screen. Um, it also has the multi-view, so you can, depending on, again, what you want, you can configure those multiple windows for different productivity things, whether you're doing some research on YouTube or on a web browser and that type of thing. Um, we also really like that you have the ability to connect a webcam. So there's a USB-C connector on the back, and you can plug in either Samsung's webcams, and it also supports some from Logitech as well. So there's a few Logitech ones that you can plug in here too. So given all the things that it can do, you know, it's a top of the range gaming monitor, it's a high-end uh, Neo QLED TV, and it's also a productivity monitor to get some work done. You might be wondering what are you gonna have to spend on it? Well, the price is 4499, which is probably the most expensive monitor that I've heard of. But I guess when you consider the different um, functionality that it has, plus it's got that uh, rotated um, cockpit mode as well, um, and it might actually negate you having to buy two or even three monitors for certain things. I guess it all kind of comes together, um, but really it's up to you to decide whether that's value for you. If you want to pre-order, there's some fantastic bundle deals because it goes on sale at the end of October. So if you buy from Samsung's online store, you get a few other things. So first off, you get this fantastic gaming chair. So this is from Secret Labs. It's a Titan gaming chair we'll put the name up on screen but it's really comfortable and it's got this removable magnetic uh, headrest which we really love also you get a one terabyte uh, SSD from Samsung 2 uh, thrown in so that's if you buy from the Samsung store online if you buy from Harvey Norman you get a $1,000 Harvey Norman gift card which you can use to spend on other things as well so some really great bundle deal options and then like we said the price is Four four nine nine. Okay, well that is our first look with our short time so far with the Samsung Odyssey Art Gaming Monitor. It really is an impressive screen and especially when it's rotated into that cockpit mode. So thanks for joining us here at Gadget Guy and if you like what you saw, please don't hesitate to hit that like button or subscribe. We'd really love to have you for the next video and also give us a, a message. Let us know what you think because we'd love to know what your opinion is on this amazing display. And this